One of the most important things you have to do to be successful on Poshmark is share your items often. Now this doesn't mean to share your items on Instagram, Facebook, or any other social media site. When I talk about sharing your items on Poshmark, what I'm referring to is clicking that share button underneath each of your items and sharing to your followers on Poshmark only. That's what I'm talking about when I talk about sharing in any of my videos and this one included. Doing all of this sharing is just going to keep your items fresh, it's going to keep them updated and higher up in the search feed. Some people highly dislike this aspect of Poshmark. They think it's whack that Poshmark makes us do this in order to get our items seen and to make more sales. But I've never seen sharing in that way. I've always looked at it as free promotion. Unlike other sites who make us pay to sponsor our items and get them higher up on the page, with Poshmark it's completely free. All you have to do is share your items. But I do get where those naysayers are coming from because although it's free to share your items and promote them, it can be a tedious task and it can take up a lot of your time, especially if you have a larger closet and you're trying to do it more multiple times a day. But that is only true if you're doing this task manually. With the free flip tool that I'm going to be talking about today, sharing can be done on autopilot along with many other important Poshmark activities like sending offers to likers, community shares, and follows as well. To start using flip, First, click the link in the description of this video. That will lead you to a page that looks like this. At the top, there are several links that you can click on. These links here will lead you to more information about their consignment service. That is Flip's main business, consignment. You can either sign up to sell your clothes or you can sign up to sell clothes for others. But when it comes to the free reseller tools, you can find more information about those down here. They have a cross lister and a posh sharer available. Both of these are totally free to use and you don't have to be using their consignment services to use them either. Here next to each of them, you'll see more information and kind of get an overview of what's included with each of them. When it comes to Flip's consignment service, I've never used it so I really can't speak on it, but I have heard from other resellers that this is a great way to get free inventory to list in your Poshmark store. And when it comes to the cross-listing tool, that also I've never used so I don't really know exactly how it works but I think it is important for me to mention here that I've heard other resellers express their frustration with that tool. I've heard them mention that it's clunky and it has lots of bugs and it just doesn't work that well. But those comments I heard back when Flip just came out with that tool. So maybe by now they fixed it a bit and made some updates. Maybe it works better now. So if you're a beginner and you don't have that many listings and you're not ready to invest in a monthly fee that comes with other cross-listing services, this tool may be worth a try for you. As many of you know, I use List Perfectly as my cross-listing service. I use that to post my items on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari all at the same time. I've been using that service for a very long time. I feel comfortable with it. It's reliable and I just love the company as a whole. So I don't see myself switching from List Perfectly to any other cross-listing service anytime soon. So really, all I'm going to be talking about today is Flip's Poshmark automation tool that I do have experience with. I've been using it for like eight months now. I've never had an issue with it, so I feel comfortable talking about it and recommending it. However, I am aware that compared with other paid sharing services, Flip will rank all the way at the bottom because those paid sharing services have a lot more cool features. They are a lot more sophisticated and just well developed. So if you're looking for a sharing service that has all the bells and whistles, Flip is not going to be for you. Flip is for those people who are looking for basic Poshmark automation for now and or for those who don't want to or aren't ready to invest $25 a month 
more in some cases for a Poshmark sharing service. When you are ready to try out the flip sharing tool, you will come to this screen and click on this black button that says get it for free. Then we'll click on join for free again down here. Next, you will answer a few questions. And from there, you will probably see a message that says that you are now on the waiting list. But the wait won't be long. I'd say in a day or two, you will receive an email. And in that email, there will be further instructions on how to download Download the Flip Chrome extension and connect your Poshmark account to it. A few things to keep in mind here. At the moment, Flip is only available via the Chrome Web Store. That is a store you go to online to purchase extensions for your computer, much like you'd go to your app store on your phone to download an app. But Flip is not available as a phone app right now. So the only way Flip will work is on a computer or a laptop and via the Chrome Web Browser. And the last thing is that Flip is not available in any other country besides the US. Once you do have everything set up, the extension is installed, your Poshmark account is connected, you will come to a page that looks like this. At the top, you will see the three options, cross-lister, sharer, and analytics. But as I said, the only thing we're going to discuss today is the sharer tool, which is right here. And within the sharer tool, there are, let's see, seven tabs. So we'll go over each of those today. Starting off with the share tab, before you start using it, you are going to have to set some preferences. And the first thing you have to choose is which of these three modes you want to use. Starting off with this just once option, this will basically do as it says, share your closet only once. Here you can choose the number of items you wish to share. I have it selected under share all, but you can choose a specific amount of items if you only wanted to share part of your closet. Then you will select your sharing order. You can do it at random. You can keep your current order that you have in your closet right now. So this will share your closet from bottom to top, or you can switch the order and this will share your closet from top to bottom instead. I like to keep my closet ordered from newest to oldest, so I always select this keep current order option so that it stays that way when Flip does my sharing. Here, you can also choose your sharing speed. You can have it go fast or slow. I always keep my option at fast because I like it to be done quickly and not take forever doing my sharing. This next option is if if you want your items to be shared to a party. If you share your items during a party time, they will be shared to that party if they're eligible and they will also be shared to your followers. So if you do want them to be shared to a party, go ahead and leave this checked. If you don't, you can just uncheck it. Once you have all of those things selected, you'll just click start and this will share your closet only once. Now Flip won't share any of your unavailable or your sold listings. It will only share those items that you have for sale. That goes for this mode and the other two modes we're going to talk about. But unlike the other two sharing modes, if you choose to go with this just once option, you are going to have to come in here and click the start button every time you want your closet shared. If you don't want to bother with that, then go with this continuous option instead. With this option, it's going to share your closet all throughout the day, depending on your preferences that you set down here. You can tell it how many times a day you want it to share and how long you want it to wait in between shares. Just like the previous one, you can put share all your items or select a certain amount of items here. You can select your sharing order, your speed, and whether or not you want your items to be shared to a party. And the next sharing mode is called scheduled. I think this one is the most popular one and it is the only one that I use on the daily basis. With this mode, your closet will be shared all throughout the day on autopilot 
kind of like it is with continuous. But with this one, the added benefit is that you get to choose your own schedule. You can choose up to 15 different time slots, but I only do 11. I share once an hour from 10 a.m. all the way up to 10 p.m. To add a time slot in your schedule, all you have to do is click this arrow here that will add an empty time slot at the bottom. You'll just select the time you want your closet shared and click OK. And here towards the bottom, you get the same preferences as you did with the other ones. You can choose the amount of items you want to share or just share all. You can choose your sharing order, your sharing speed, and whether or not you want your items to go out to parties as well. If you do want your items to be shared to parties, make sure that you're also including sharing party time slots up here in your schedule. A huge warning here, excessive sharing can cause problems on Poshmark. At a certain point, they will restrict your account for sharing too much. It is unclear what amount of sharing will put you in what they call Poshmark jail, which is where you'll be restricted from using your Poshmark account for a certain amount of time. But to keep it safe, it is recommended to stay under 6,000 shares total in a single day. And that is why all three sharing modes on Flip have a built-in protection system that will restrict you from using that sharing tool once you've reached that 6K a day limit. So keep this in mind as you're choosing which sharing mode you'll be using and as you're setting up your sharing schedule. Moving on to the next tab, which is called auto offers. And this will be used to send out automatic offers when someone likes an item in your closet. And just like all the rest of these tabs, you are going to have to set some preferences before using this so that you can tell Flip how you want this done. The first thing to decide is how long do you want to wait to send out an offer after someone likes? I have mine set at eight minutes. So when someone likes an item in my closet, eight minutes after is when they will receive their offer. I feel like eight minutes is a good time because it doesn't bombard them right away with an offer to like her. It gives them time to browse my closet if that's what they want to do. The second thing you'll have to decide is how much do you want your offer to be? You can set this at any percent that you want. I have mine set at 18% all of the time. And then you also have to send out a shipping discount. That is just part of Poshmark's rules. I keep mine at $5.95. The next thing is if you want to set a minimum earning or selling type. So if you don't want any offers to be sent out on items that are priced $10 or below, then this is what you will set here. If you prefer to do your calculations by earnings, then you'll just click here under earnings. And if you don't want any offers to be sent out on items that will leave you with, let's say, $12 in earnings or below, then that's the preference you'll set here. And then the last preference you can choose here is to exclude items that were listed recently. So if you don't want any offers to be sent out on any items that you've listed within the past week, then you'll just add a seven here. Or maybe you just don't want offers to be sent out on items you listed yesterday because you want to give those items a chance to sell for a higher selling price. Then you just leave that one there and click start. For me, I want offers to likers to be sent out on all items, so I leave this at zero. And all of these preferences here that I have set, it's just my way of doing things, my way of using auto offers. But for you, something else may work better. So just play around with different combinations of these settings. You can change around your percent off, your discounted shipping. Maybe you choose to do $4.99 instead of $5.95. Just test all this out and 
see what works well for your store and what brings in sales. The next tab is called bulk offers and this one will work very similar to auto offers. It actually has most of the same preferences down here. The only thing that's missing is the minutes option and that is because with bulk offers it's a one-time thing whereas with auto offers it goes out at a set time you set here and it will go out every time you have a new liker on one of your items. Bulk offers on the other hand will go out to all likers whether they are new or not well kind of for those of you who don't know how offers to likers works on Poshmark I want to take the time to explain that right here because it can get a bit confusing and it's important to understand all the rules and regulations behind offers to likers otherwise known as OTLs on Poshmark in order to make the best use of this bulk offer fe feature on Flip. To start off, anytime someone likes your item on Poshmark, it gives you the ability to send them an offer. According to Poshmark, the offer will only be sent out if the offer is at least 10% off your listing price and that offer must also include a shipping discount. So if I have some boots listed for $100, someone likes those boots, I will send them an OTL for $90 which is 10% off my $100 listing price. And then let's say 30 minutes later, I get another like on those same pair of boots. I will send out the same offer again, 10% off 100. But this time only the new liker will receive that offer because every liker only receives that same offer once. The only way older likers will receive another offer from me on the same item is if I send a new lower ATL, specifically 10% lower than the previous one they received. So in order to reach those older likers on those pair of boots, I'd have to send a 20% off offer this time, which would be $80 and I will also have to include the shipping discount as well. So if I wanted to use the bulk offers option right now, I'd have to input 28% right here beside discount offer. And that is because anyone who has liked my items up to this point has already received an 18% off automatic offer that I set over here in this other tab. So I'd have to add 10% to this under the bulk offers option in order for it to work properly. Bulk offers is more for running a big one-time sale. So if one day I did wish to run a quick sale on my entire Poshmark closet, this is how I do it. I'd go here to the discount offer, put 30% just to make it even. I leave my discount shipping at $5.95 and I probably set my earnings to about $12. Here under exclude items listed, I put 60. That way it won't send out offers on items that were listed within the past two months. When I run a sale, I wanna focus on moving the oldest items, not the newer ones. Those can stick around for a little bit and sell at a higher price potentially. Anything that Flip does for you will be shown in this activity log, so this last selection is for that. If you want them to inform you about any items that didn't get an offer because they had zero likes, then you would click this option here. Once all that is set to go, you would just click start and it would get to work for you sending out these bulk offers and hopefully encouraging a lot more sales in your closet. The next two tabs we're going to get into is the follow tab and the community share tab. Poshmark pushes the community aspect of their app a lot. And there are mixed messages as to whether engaging in these social aspects is beneficial or not. Some people swear they see a difference in their sales in a good way when they're doing following and community shares, which just means sharing other people's items. I'm one of those people, I feel like I have seen a big difference in the activity that goes on in my closet when I started using those two tabs on Flip, the follow and the community share. I saw a lot more likes, a lot more bundle sales, and just a lot more engagement overall. 
All I can say is try it for yourself, especially if you're going to be using the flip tool anyway, why not make use of those two features as well? Flip gives you four type of following options. The first option here is so that you can follow other people's followers. So what I do to use this option is go to Poshmark and using the search bar, I will look for the kind of items that I have a lot of in my closet. So I will search for winter boots, handbags, or dress shoes. From these search results, I will scroll through and look for a posture that looks active and professional. I can tell whether that is the case because of their username down here, how their pictures look, and then once I do click into their profile, I can see how many followers they have, how many listings they have, and how their overall closet looks. So if I decided to go with this posture, what I would do is select their username down here and copy it, go back to flip, and paste it here. Next to that, I will tell Flip how many followers I want to follow from her following list. Normally, I just keep this at about 100, and this section is set to go. The point of finding sellers who are listing similar things to me and following their followers is because at least some of their followers decided to follow them because they like the type of things they're listing. And if they like their things, they're probably going to like mine too, since we're listing similar things. So if you're selling hardware or home goods, look for people who are listing those kinds of things and do your following that way. If your main focus is high-end dresses, then look for those people and follow their followers. And the overall point of following is just to make Poshmark happy because they really want engagement in their app. That is why to become a Poshmark ambassador, you have to reach certain quota when it comes to social interactions like community sharing. But also, I feel like when I follow other Poshers, there is a slight chance that they will follow me back and then start to engage with me in my closet, maybe share some of my items. And at some point, they may come directly to my closet, check out my items, and come across one of my sell banners and make a purchase. Now, all of that has never been proven. Poshmark has never directly said any of this, but that's just the way I think about it. Okay, back to the following options. The second one here is for you to follow fresh closet users. And these are people who recently listed their very first item on Poshmark. The option underneath that is going to be just join users. And these are going to be users who are brand new to the Poshmark platform. I keep both of these options here at four each and I run this following action once a day. Before I started using Flip, I used to pay a company to do the following actions for me and I would have them do it multiple times a day. So in the end, I ended up with way too many followers. So that's where this fourth follow option or unfollow option comes into play. I set mine at 800 and Flip will unfollow this many people for me on the daily basis. Once you do have all of these preferences set to go, all you have to do is click start and Flip will get straight to it. Moving on to the community share tab. On the Poshmark app, if you click that little bell icon towards the bottom right hand side that says news, at the top you will have the option to select shares. This will show you who has shared your items recently. Next to that, there's that option that says follows. These are the people who have just followed you on Poshmark. And the point of this tab on Flip is just to return the favor. All of those people just shared some of your items, so you're going to share some of theirs. They just followed you on Poshmark, so you're going to follow them back. And here under preferences, I do keep both of my activities to return selected right here. But you can choose to only return follows or just shares. It's up to you. 
The next option is to set the number of shares you want to do per closet. So anytime someone shares any one of my items, I will in return share three of theirs. That's what I keep mine set as. And I recommend that you don't go above five because then it just tends to look too spammy. And then the next option down here is called date range. So if you wanted to return follows and shares from the 11th all the way up to the 15th, that's what you would select here. I do my community shares and follows once a day, every morning, and I do them for the day before. Today is the 16th, so this morning I went in here and I selected the date range 15 and 15 again. What this will do is follow back anyone who followed me yesterday and return any shares for anyone who shared one of my items yesterday. And then the last option is just speed. You can choose whether you want it to do this action fast, medium, slow or very slow down here. I keep mine set at fast because the other options just move way too slow for me. The next tab here is pretty simple and straightforward. This is where you will go to check that everything is connected and working as it should. It will tell you if the extension is installed, if Poshmark is still connected to your Flip account. So I guess here it's very important for me to mention something that may be a big drawback to some of you. And that is that in order for Flip to work, you must have your computer on at all times. So you do have to go in and turn off sleep mode if you do have it on. You must also be logged into Poshmark at all times. Those two tabs must stay open and running all day or else Flip will stop sharing and sending out offers. So what I like to do is every morning I will log into my Poshmark closet and then I will go over to Flip and go ahead and set everything up. I will make sure to click start on my sharing schedule. I will click start on my auto offers as well. And then from there, I will move on to do my follows and my community shares. And once I'm ready to start working on other things like listing or editing videos, writing or anything else I'm working on that day, what I will do is open up a blank tab here to the side and I will click and hold to detach this from this tab group in the back. From here, I can minimize this back window by clicking this line here at the top right hand side and that will give me this blank window to work on without Flip and Poshmark off to the side distracting me. And then throughout the day, I can always toggle between these two windows, between the Flip and Poshmark window and my blank window where I'm doing all of my other work. But even though I do keep these two tabs separate, I do make the effort to, throughout the day, go back to Flip to make sure everything is running smoothly. It doesn't happen very often, but sometimes Poshmark can get disconnected from Flip because maybe you accidentally logged out or just many other things can happen. So it's always a good idea to make sure to go to this next tab here called Activity Log to see if everything is running okay. This activity log is where you can see any and all actions that Flip has taken on your behalf. Down here is a detailed activity list. Here it will show you when Flip sends out an offer for you and for how much. It will also show you each time it shares each of your items, but also when Flip has completed a whole closet share. You'll see the shares you've done for other postures and the follows as well, but most importantly, here is where Flip will tell you if the system has stopped working for some reason. As I said, it rarely happens, but sometimes due to internet connection issues or maybe you got logged out of Poshmark, it could happen. So it's important to always come here to see that everything is working as it should. At the top, you can also see just a quick overview of everything that has gone on on your Poshmark closet with the flip tool throughout the day. You can see your total shares here, your total offer sent for the day, your followers, and the last bit here is CAPTCHA solved for that day. CAPTCHAs are those pop-ups that come up on websites when they wanna see if you're human or if you're just a bot. But don't let this concern you because I get CAPTCHAs on Poshmark 
even when I'm using their built-in sharing tool on their app. So as long as you're respecting sharing limits and not overdoing it, everything should be fine. In addition to the flip tools, I still do use lots of Poshmark's in-house reseller tools that they have available for us. For example, I use their bulk sharing option to share my entire closet once in the morning and once at night. So I will do 11 scheduled shares on Flip and two on Poshmark. That puts me at about 13 full closet shares a day and that still keeps me in the safe sharing zone so that I don't go above that 6,000 limit. And I do shut down my computer by about 9 p.m. So during that time, any like on my Poshmark items will not receive an offer until I turn flip back on in the morning so that's when I use the tool Poshmark has called my shoppers to reach out to any likers I had overnight while flip was down with that my shoppers tool I can easily send out my 18% off offer with the shipping discount in bulk it's quick and it's easy and I use that same tool to send out my bundle offers in bulk as well with that my shoppers tool you can easily see when someone has more than one like in your closet and when someone has liked multiple items I will always send them out a 30% off bundle offer and I most definitely use Poshmark's reseller tools instead of flips on closet clear out days and if you don't know what Poshmark's closet clear out sale is go watch my tutorial it will tell you everything you need to know about it I will leave it linked here in a playlist list along with many other reseller tutorials that you may find helpful. If you have any questions about anything I discussed today, make sure to leave it in the comments. I will get back to you as soon as I can. And that's all for me today. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I'll see you next time.